Mm. I had a question here. It's a store related one. You were just talking about fan gamer drops from, other, from shirt sales. I'm curious, how is money from other sales like doubloons, playmats, etc., accounted for or dropped? Uh, I account for it. I drop none of it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> we're not doing it. We're not doing a store drop this year. Because as I've determined in other years, I get so tired that despite all of the work that I do setting up like spreadsheets to be like, put the sales in here, yeah. it will calculate everything and it will tell you how, you, how all the money is going to be allocated. Mm -hmm. I get so tired that uh, I will mess that up. I will like not include a thing and then I have to make adjustments later and have to do all sorts of stuff. Yeah, and I'm like, honest, that's the best reason. Yeah, so, so, like, I'm just not gonna do a store drop this year we're going to add that to the total after the run is over. Well, and that's, and that's another good way to, to frame it, too, because what would a store drop be? Would that ever account for more than an extra hour in a run? I don't I, know. I mean, if we were getting... At, at the end yeah, of the run. Like, if we were yeah. getting up to, like... Let's okay. Let's let's play pretend. If we were getting up to like nine hundred and eighty thousand dollars at the end of, of Zeta, yeah. and I was like, I want the million. I want the celebration on Zeta, and so I drop a desert buck or something like that to be like, and the store donation, uh, the money that we've raised or whatever, and boom, that we'll just drop a desert buck for now. I did that last year, mm -hmm. and then had to go back and do a whole bunch of adjustments and stuff to be like, wait, Shucks. did I? Am I? Did it include everything? And as I was doing the calculations, I was razor thin close on some calculations. And I was like, okay, everything works out. Yeah. I didn't screw anything up. However. But, <laughs> but I got closer than I liked on some things. And I was like, so how do I make this calculation to make sure money goes and, through at the right time? So, yeah. And like the first the first time uh, we got over a million dollars, it was post desert bus right yes which is why we did and then we did an extra special hour celebration. special thing yeah, yeah. celebration yeah um so you know in that in that case it was sort of a milestone after post desert bus that's unlikely to happen this time um and so uh yeah so it's just i mean so the the final the final tally for how much desert bus is raised um, will go up a little bit uh, in the post bus time. Yes. And how long, just to, just to remind everyone at home and myself, do people have to order from said store .desertbus .org? Uh The store, the Desert Bus store opens when the run starts and it ends when I can be bothered. <laughs> okay. So Good enough. <laughs> you technically have until the bus crashes. Mm -hmm. That is the absolute last second and I could close the store then. I don't like to, but that would be the, that is, you are guaranteed to have the store open until that point. Okay. Yes. And if, that, if anything happened to the store in the meantime, to be like, oh, we're going to lose some hours because something goes down, something happens to Shopify or whatever, we have to close the store to make an adjustment or whatever, I will, I would have built those hours back in. So instead what I do is until I'm able to get up at a reasonable hour and feel like I'm in control of all my, my uh, cognitive facilities, then at that point... I would be like, now it is time to close the store. That generally means people get another 48 hours after the okay. run is so over. It could, be it could be months. Could be months. If yeah. we have to wait for you to be in control of your cognitive facilities. I mean, it's kind of like, um, God forbid, but it's kind of like, what if I uh, go home after this, I have a night's sleep, I get up, I feel just like warmed over ass, and then I'm like, okay, let's test. Oh, God, I've got COVID, and then I'm laid up for like three or four days or a week or whatever. Well, the store's still open. <laughs> like technically, so somebody else with access could get in there and turn it off. But if if yeah. something happened to me, it's kind of like, and then I could just forget about it for a week and it'd just be like, all oh, right, I gotta go do that. So yeah. yeah. So we hope that no one's gonna get sick. 